So the pack hasn't changed very much. Uh, it's the day rock from Hidden Woodsman. It's a Cordura modern backpack that is built in the old way. So it looks like an old backpack, but it's actually quite pretty modern. And it has a Cordura uh, uh, outside, so and it's water resistant. It's I think it's 25 liters. And it has a lot of features that I really like about this pack. Malcolm from the Hidden Woodsman sent this to me. I was the first in Norway to actually get this pack. So you have very strong uh, mechanism to unlock, unlock. On the bottom you have the ability to attach so you can actually expand the bushcraft bag. Uh, because it's a day rock. Uh, but uh, you. Uh, it, it's not supposed to be carrying a lot of stuff in it, but you can expand it if you want, like I do here. These uh, are from uh, Tasmanian Tiger uh, pouches. I have two others as well, but I didn't need those, so I can actually adjust how much we're gonna take with me. You have a very well solid uh, pouch here for the axe. Uh, and in this case I have the, uh, I think it's the forest axe, no, I have the small, one of the small uh, from Grand Forest Bruk. Uh, I have, have this for two years and I think I have this for four years now. If we open we have a very blaze uh, color, this is my favorite color. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look at the back, you have the same possibilities on the top as well. To attach some straps at the top and at the back you have a very sweaty <laughs> but it's very comfortable pack very solid comfortable pack it has some attachment point here it doesn't have a hip belt and a very solid uh, handle here so you can actually hang your backpack very very good I'm very this is one of my favorite pack now I cannot use these on through hikes and the reason for that is because it's a bit too small and if you want to expand it for true hike it's going to be more heavier and when it rains it's going to also be a bit more heavier. This is for going out in the bush and bushwalking uh, and, and do some bushcraft stuff. New for this year is actually the Fjellduken original. Uh, this is a uh, Norwegian project uh, product uh, that is normally most used on both hunting in the military. They use the insulated one. This is a bit insulated, but not as much. I'm going to show you soon. And this is a very good bushcraft tarp. So I am actually carrying two uh, tarps. This is my uh, sponsor tarp, Nurtent, but I'm going to use this on a separate place. Uh, this is part of my uh, ultralight gear and my new sleeping system that I have a separate video on. This is a silk liner to use with a quilt and some down booties I'm going to show you soon. Because I'm sleeping on a hammock, <laughs> I, I have actually an old uh, open wide mouth uh, bladder to go to the toilet from the hammock and it actually functions very well. I have a rain jacket as well because this jacket is not very waterproof and I decided to take with me the anti-gravity jacket. This is my fire kit, normally also from the Hidden Woodsman with some multi camo stuff. A lot of different ways to start a fire and if I burn myself I also have glacier gel here as well. This is uh, one of my first hunting jackets. I've been having this for a long time, but I haven't used it in a while. This is the Fjellreven Bjorn or something like that. Uh, uh, that I have only the, the jacket and I have the Fjellreven pants. Uh, is my favorite for only bushcrafting or perhaps hunting as well, but I mostly use this for bushcrafting when I'm doing a lot of work. I still have my uh, hunter boots from the military. This is from the army forces. These are custom. 
the terrain here in Norway is, is very uneven. New this year is my shirt. This is a wool shirt. I also use it regularly. I don't have too much clothing anymore at home and it sometimes happens that I wear this at home as well. The hat is new. This is on Sketson wool felt. It's very very comfortable and very warm. I like to have a hat mostly because a lot of bugs here when you are bushwhacking. I have some Hestra work hands. These are uh, the normal very cheap uh, loaves. Also new for this year. This is part of my through hike backpacking bushcrafting kit is a, a DT bag and in here I have a lot of stuff that uh, like tan uh, toothbrush I have uh, blister stuff we have first aid kit I have Imodium paracetamol whatever I have it here and this I move around on the kit depending on what I'm doing so if I'm doing some bushcrafting I just pick this up and move it to the bushcraft bag that I have here but you can hang this up uh, it has a mirror it has a compass I have a lot of stuff here and it doesn't weigh too much because I'm trying to minimize this but the good thing is when you are at home and perhaps you want to go outdoors you should really have a own DT bag to be outdoors because uh, you might forget your toothbrush at home or something that uh, is in, in your normal toilet bag so try to try to build a, a, a DT bag uh, so you can bring it to you uh, with you and just move along I, I, I tend to change uh, the, the, the tools that I have uh, so um, uh, for this trip I have the small uh, versions of the tools and you're gonna not gonna do a lot of bushcrafting with this this is just mostly to, to get some wood for the fire but it's a very very sharp tool and you have the silky professional uh, that is a very sharp good saw and you have the ground force brook that I told you I have a bigger axe than this and a bigger silky saw as well that is very good if I, I know I'm gonna build a lot of things I also have some cordage system that I used to build uh, the bushcraft force dress uh, the last last time. Um, uh, I have a lot of knife as well. I've, uh, and for this time, I'm bringing the Castron number ten uh, full tanged knife, so I can actually baton with this and uh, the wood. And it has a very good uh, sheet and fire still with it. Uh, it's a Swedish make. This is an Argentinian leather belt. I have this a long time as well. And also new, uh, both for my upcoming through hikes. I'm going to use the Garmin Phoenix. I have switched with from the Traverse Alpha Zoom to with the Phoenix, and I find them very, very good. Though I wish I had the graphite because I already make some mark. And of course, in my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, I, this, I need this. This is my favorite uh, uh, just sitting and standing here. I forgot that I have here because I've been using the, the uh, small pad for through hikes lately. It's a little plate. I also use using this for through hiking just to have something to cut stuff. I've been selling a lot of stuff lately and one of the things that I sold was my hammock, my Dramur Amok 3.0 and the reason for that is to mostly buy uh, big rid of a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of tarps and stuff that I sold recently, the watch and I bought this one instead and uh, you know uh, but the reason I, I sold my hammock was because not that I didn't like the hammock because the hammock that I'm more is the only hammock that I can sleep. I'm not a hammock person, and hammock that I'm more is 
is one of those uh, hammocks that doesn't feel like it is a hammock but it doesn't feel like a hammock because it's different from all others and, and since then I've been talking to Noor tent because they are designing a one person and a two person tent that I'm going to use for my upcoming expedition uh, but they're no, not finished with it yet I need to wait to perhaps winter um, I'm going to do a review of that as well. Uh, the first prototype didn't go well, so they need to use a bit more time. And my son um, recently want a hammock. He actually want he wish a hammock for uh, winter time, uh, so for Christmas because his friends has also hammocks, and I was like. God damn it. So um, I need to get a hammock as well because uh, I, I'm still waiting for the tent and my son also tented. So I bought a new hammock and this is a brand new hammock Dramor Ultralight. I think it's the 6.0. I haven't tested it yet but I can already tell this is super light and the tarp I'm going to use with this is the um, the Nortent one uh, because I think the, the Fjellduken is a bit small uh, for it and it's, it's a good to have some reserve as a blanket as well because you can actually use this as a blanket uh, if I find a spot to set it up I'm going to uh, try some uh, lean to bushcraft a part of my new sleeping system, the three season video that is uh, up here. Um, you saw a new bag, the sleeping liner, the new pad that I don't have with me here, and this uh, Amok Fjell Ultralight Long Wide. Um, this is part of my through hike uh, stuff. This is a bit light. Uh, to put on the ground and that's why also I'm using the the hammer so this actually belong together This bag actually belong to the winter uh, Underground quilt that I have that is minus 15 Celsius. This is minus 6 or 20 Fahrenheit And this is the one you have seen also lately But it's packed in the event waterproof because this is more easier to pa uh, bring with me on the on the on the on this pack here so I think that's it for uh, that stuff I'm going to try to keep this uh, away from the wet ground it's not the best place to put it but you have a mesh pocket that you can open in here this is also new for this year this is my sheet kit and yes, I start to use a video this year and it has done a very, very good job. You can uh, do a cat hole with this titanium deuce space number two. I have put on some tape to so it doesn't, uh, this gets very hard on your fingers if you're doing it without the tape, so it's very good to have. I have a shit bag uh, or compostable bag just in case I found some trash I want to uh, take uh, with me at home. Just in case I don't have water I will have some paper as well. And I have the actual bidet here. Uh, and it uh, does a very very good job. I have a little bottle of water that is behind the camera that I put it to the bidet and does a very good job for when I have to really go. Uh, my, my spoon, a smaller one. I have also a very big fire still from... Uh, uh, I can remember what the name some sharpening uh, for the axe just in case I, I managed to get it on the stone or something. Uh, for the gloves and leather I have some uh, beeswax, uh, this is from Hestra, 
very very good you can use this on your hands as well and I have more Inferno this is basically fat wood uh, but it's a bit more stronger than fat wood and it lasts for a long time I really like this uh, system and that's basically it I have also some uh, to clean my oh that it's not basically it I have a lot of the side pockets as well uh, I had a spillo part of my new sleeping system I might switch it out because I found a pillow that I might work better and I have also another different pillow on winter time One of my favorite pieces of gear, this is the heavy coffee canteen, this is full of water. I can boil and make food from here with a lid. Uh, I also have a Primus kettle that I don't bring with me here because I have that as one as well. So I tend to switch and in there I have the Zulu stove that is also part of my bushcraft gear. But I haven't bring it with me because I'm going to... Uh, depending on how, what kind of food I bring, I tend to switch the the stuff uh, for cooking. This also I make myself. This is a reach line, a quickly deployable reach line, so it's easier for me to set up the tarp. Though the new tent tarp is very easy to set up anyway. Uh, but I don't think the Fjellduken has some uh, lines, so this is mostly for the Fjellduken. Or perhaps if I use the Vivoart for the new tent, I also use this uh, because it's, it's, it's easier for me to set up the tarp. Uh, a couple of new items here as well. This is the Mini Espresso. Uh, I, th I, I, kind of, I, I really like the creamy espresso stuff. So this is a bit small, uh, but I really, really like this uh, machine. It gives me very good coffee, at least for being outdoors. A uh, meal uh, with coffee, fresh coffee in here from Starbucks for the coffee. And I have a new pan. Um, this is a large cast iron. I think this is, might be the smallest one. It's pretty heavy as well. Uh, so bear in mind when you are going to go outdoors and want uh, cast iron is going to be pretty pretty heavy and for this the, f the first time I used it outdoors I found out pretty quickly that I needed uh, gloves for this and these are fire gloves just to be holding the, the pan when it's super super hot and that's that's it all that I have with me it's a lot of stuff uh, you really don't need and um, yeah I hope you like this video and uh, next week I'm going to post the actual uh, video from being out here so stay tuned and see you soon thanks for watching